All right, so in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how we generate consistent leads month after month for our clients and what you should be looking for uh, in terms of consistency inside of an ad campaign. Uh, the first thing we look at is search volume. So is there enough search volume to consistently generate leads? This is by far the most important thing out there. If people aren't searching for a given keyword, you're not going to get leads. Simple as that. Uh, search volume comes down to really three things. The amount of services offered, the locations being targeted, and the time of year. So to break that down, the services you got to think, are you offering one niche service or offer, are you offering multiple? The more services you offer, generally the higher the search volume is going to be because you have more selection of keywords to choose from, therefore generating more leads in turn. Uh, the second thing you got to look for is the location. Is the location you're targeting big enough? If you have a very, very small location, chances are your search volume is not going to be very high. Uh, if you have you know, multiple locations that are very large, chances are search volume is going to be pretty good and you won't have any real issues generating leads consistently. And the third thing is time of year. This kind of comes back to services being offered. If you have a business and it's seasonal, chances are search volume is also going to be seasonal. So if you do pool installation or landscaping, uh, it peaks in the summer months and it dips in the winter months. So you're not going to be able to generate leads as consistently in those winter months, uh, unfortunately. Sometimes you can, depending on your location, depending on the services offer. I know a lot of guys uh, inside the landscaping industry switch it up. They'll do uh, snow plow, depending on where they are in the country, uh, for winter months. And that way they can stay busy year round, it's just kind of adapting for those seasonal businesses. Uh, but chances are, if you're more of an inside business, um, think about HVAC, plumbing, these things really, they're kind of seasonal, but in terms of search volume, really not. Uh, you shouldn't have any issues generating consistent leads uh, throughout the year for most of those services. Only seasonal, really. The second thing is budget. So budget is the second most important thing. You could also say it's the most important thing. If you have no budget, you're not getting any leads as simple as that. Um, you need a decent sized budget. That's why we recommend anywhere from a thousand to three thousand bucks, depending on how many services you're offering, you know, and the location you're offering them in. That way you can generate, you know, 20, 30, 40 leads a month consistently every single month. Uh, pretty much regardless of your cost per click at that point, those, those numbers tend to stay the same. Uh, but it is very, very important to, de to determine a sizable budget. Uh, that can produce enough clicks to generate enough leads to keep you busy throughout the month. Uh, that comes down to knowing your cost per click, knowing your conversion rate, and knowing how many uh, clicks it's going to take to get a lead. Uh, that's how you determine budget, and that's what you should set for your month over month to stay busy and to generate consistent leads. The next thing is conversion rate. So conversion rate is a very important factor in generating consistent leads. If you have a super low conversion rate, generating leads consistently is going to be awful just because you're going to have to generate so many clicks and chances are if you're generating just an incredible amount of clicks, they're not going to be very high quality in terms of the actual uh, keyword being searched for. So you're just going to have really garbage leads coming in. It's very important to have a high conversion rate. Uh, that's why we recommend using landing pages where you can take your conversion rate essentially overnight from, you know, one to 5% to 20 to 40%. Um, you know, they're absolutely phenomenal and they really help with generating consistent leads. Instead of, you know, needing 20 clicks, you need five clicks to generate a lead. And it's much more reasonable to, you know, pay for five clicks than it is for 20 clicks most of the time. Um, the final thing is competition. So I prefer working in niches that don't have all that much competition because even if you're absolutely terrible, which I'm not, but I'm just saying if you're absolutely terrible, you can generally still get by. Uh, a lot of niches like landscaping, pool installation, not many businesses are really digging into them uh, in terms of Google ads. They just, for whatever reason, aren't. They have other advertising methods uh, or word of mouth. I don't know what they're really doing. But um, they just really don't go into Google Ads. And the cost per click is so low that you could realistically, you know, have a five or six percent conversion rate and still generate, you know, 15, 20 leads a month on, you know, a thousand to fifteen hundred dollar budget a month. It's it's really amazing what competition can do. On the other side of that is high competition markets. So if you're looking for 
let's say HVAC in Toronto, where you're looking at 55 bucks a click, all your, you know, all your ducks need to be lined up in order for that to work out to generate consistent leads profitably. Because if you don't, you're going to be blowing money up, and uh, it's not going to be good. So uh, yeah, you you really need to understand your niche, understand how competitive it is. Um, even at 55 bucks a click, I mean, you can still be profitable. You can still generate consistent leads. You just need to know what you're doing. But uh, it's very nice to go into niches that aren't as competitive. So that'd be my final note on that. In terms of finding search volume and finding budget, um, I go to the Google Keyword Planner. Uh, there's also a Keyword Everywhere, I think is the plugin I use sometimes. Uh, it's all right, too, for generating, uh, looking at competition. What I look at is average monthly searches. This gives you a decent breakdown of what you're actually going to be looking for. So even in-ground pools, you're looking at 10 to 100. All the way down is essentially 10 to 100. And this is for February in just Hamilton. So Hamilton's a decent sized city, but it's not massive. And if you look at the cost per click, again, really low in terms of uh, cost per click, which is awesome for uh, our clients. But uh even though it says competition is high, it's not. You got to really take it with a grain of salt. I prefer to look at cost per click instead of this because, yeah, you can say the competition is high, but if the cost per click is $2, does it really matter? Like, no, not really. Um, so that's good. And February 2, very cold month here in Canada. Not many people are looking for pool installation, but you still have a decent amount of average search volume here, 10 to 100, 10 to 100. If these were all 0 to 10, or most of them were 0 to 10, uh, then I would say, you know what, uh, maybe we should consider expanding the area, not just Hamilton. Maybe we, should, maybe we should be offering other services, maybe pool closings, pool openings, stuff like that, just to expand and uh, you know generate consistent leads. But 10 to 100 on essentially all of these, uh, is you know plenty to generate a uh, a decent campaign and have you know consistent leads. So this is just you know the tool I come to to look at search volume, to look at budget, to look at costs. Um, this is what I do. So hopefully you found this video uh, informative. Oh by the way, always check this off for your uh, location. Don't just put the entire country; you'll get skewed results. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Other than that, you guys have a great weekend and enjoy.